Okay, what I wanted to cover right now is what we uh, very lovingly call shining the bowling ball or uh, shining the melon. Uh, and you'll see why that is in a second. We also call it the blender. So what this is, it's um, a concept that again is based upon aggression and what we're going to do is get a hold of the person's head and uh, we do a lot of nasty things to it. So it kind of looks like this. So for the most part, you've seen in a previous uh, uh, film footage of the Pez dispenser and it can sometimes start from the Pez dispenser. Maybe I come up to the chin uh, in this manner I could even do a single hand um, palm heel strike to the individual um, or I can just come right into the face immediately. And the idea of shining the bowling ball or shining the melon as we call it is this, I, I've got my hands all over the guy's head, putting my thumbs into his eyes, elbowing here. I want to think of a blender. If you think of like the Tasmanian Devil in those old uh, Looney Tune cartoons, that is a good example of what uh, the blender looks like. What you're trying to do is overwhelm your opponent or the attacker and you're really going focusing on the face for the most part. And then what we're going to do is we'll go high to low, uh, like a groin strike, and then back to high. So my hands are in his face here. And I'm raking and hitting here, thumbs into the eyes, and then I go low into the groin. So his attention comes up here first, and then I'll switch it up um, into the groin area. So once again, I just come right into the eyes. I can uh, elbow, rake, elbow here, maybe headbutt, and come in. What I'm trying to do is overwhelm the attacker, and you're going to use his head as leverage because where the head goes, he will go. Okay. Now I'll use uh, Nate here a second with the gear on. So when you want to play with this, um, you want to do it gently with your partner. So he's got the headgear on, and I'll just kind of show you what uh, some applications of this. So Nate's hands come up, and he's here. I just immediately come right into the eyes, hits, and then hit down and push the guy back. Again, you want to do this gently, uh, even with the headgear on. If you do it a couple of times, you'll know why it's uh, not real pleasant to be on the receiving end. So once again, we're here. I just immediately come into the eyes here. I can elbow, rake, elbow again, head butt, knee into the groin, always controlling the head, and push the guy back. So this can happen from any of the positions that we've done in the past. If you think uh, just tools and targets as I wrist, I immediately just come up into the eye here, and then I immediately start to knee and push him off, right? He grabs a hold of my lapel. My hands are free, right? And I just immediately go into this um, idea of the Pez dispenser, shining the, uh, the melon, shining the bowling ball, and uh, the blender. We get all these cool terms that we use uh, to lighten the moment, so to speak. So again, so I'm here, when I'm training it, what I do is I just put my hands on the person's head and I get this feeling of how I can move his head around, bring in different um, uh, tools, right? Thumbs into the eyes, here, head, butt, knee. I can start palm heel, hitting, coming into the eyes and back down. Again, the idea is to continue this uh, blender type idea. So the blender, and this is what it looks like against uh, another opponent with, with gear on so you can train it. So we're here. It's not real pretty and it doesn't have to be. Again, the idea is to overwhelm the person. He, um, yeah, he grabs my lapel here. No real technique. The idea is just to hurt him, right? Once again, so I'm here. <laughs> 